In today's episode of The Tenant, I'm in one of the most vibrant locations of Mumbai. I'm in Santa Cruz West. Our tenant today is a man who owns his own apartment, but is still staying on rent. Why is he doing that? What works for him and what doesn't? Let's meet him. Hi Rahul, good to see you. Hey Vishal, how are you? Very well. Welcome home. Welcome home. It's a Hi. pleasure. Please, please have a seat. I can see you're making the most of the Mumbai monsoons. Oh, what's not to love, man? Bombay, this is, according to me, the true beauty of Bombay. Bombay monsoons. And this area is not only the place where I start most of my mornings, I also, when I come back from work, spend most of my evenings here, doing my reading and just my thinking. I love this place. So this is also a place where you have your coffee, the morning coffee where people wake up, have it, recharge themselves. Sadly, I'm lactose intolerant, okay. uh, so I don't uh, have tea or coffee. But uh, my bar and wine cellar is right here, so oh. <laughs> I have a lot of other options. Okay. <laughs> so then the uh, this this section is the one that uh, is a substitute for your coffee. Absolutely. So Rahul, what is it that gets? Uh... Hold on, you're in a Punjabi person's house, so please, what can I get you to eat or drink first? No, no I'm good. I'm good. I've, I've, I've got a bad cold and cough, so I'm trying to avoid anything from outside. Don't worry. Uh, it's a simple rule that you have to have your stomach full here. And your... <laughs> okay, this thing, and your this throat thing looks slightly tempting, huh? And there's a bar right here. So your throat will... We have remedies for that also. Okay. <laughs> so take it. We'll, 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 we'll do this during the show. Okay. Sure. Come, let me show you around. So what is it that gets... Uh, well, Rahul to first build a house like this, <laughs> but even before that, to stay on rent despite owning a home. So that was actually the, the funny part and my parents did not understand uh, why I wanted to do this, you know, and it took a lot of convincing. But the whole concept was that, you know, as the families are growing and I too want to create my own family and not like we had a space crunch per se, but it just I felt like, you know, as an own individuality and with the, welcome, with the incoming future wife, right? There, we should have, at least that's how they say that, you know, every girl needs her own kitchen at least, you know? So that was the idea and I think my parents were pretty much on page with it. And funnily, after everything got done, you know, because my parents are also very social. So down it was more like, okay, either you're hosting or I'm hosting, you know? Now it's like, both of us are hosting at all, and sometimes we're just doing it together. They're coming upstairs, I'm going downstairs. So it's actually been a great addition. Yeah. So, so, so your parents stay one floor below you? Yes, right below me. So and also I was quite uh, excited when I saw that this uh, flat was available. Because, please, please have a seat. Because uh, the thing is that if I had to move out into say a different building or a different locality, you know, it would split our services in terms of maybe I would take a car with me, you know, maybe I would take the driver with me, I would want to hire my own cook, etc. What was the first thought or the, or the first response your parents had when you told them, Mom, Dad, I'm thinking of doing this? What did they say? First thing, they didn't believe it, you know, and because obviously affordability is not just a question, it's the question, you know. And uh, luckily, you know, I have uh, been involved in work and uh, I've been really working hard with all my ventures, you know, so and there's no two ways about it. It's a big sacrifice. You know, there was a time in my life when every three, four months I could think of making a small holiday, you know, now it's all about, you know, paying rent and it's not just the rent, you know, when you have a house, you want to entertain. And when you have to entertain, then the bills that come along with it. Why the location? Did you think of locations besides come, let me this uh, hub or this was it? I want to be only in Santa Cruz. So, uh, firstly, I love this area and this is off linking road. So the beauty is that my office is less than a kilometer away. At the same time, um, you know, the shops, Starbucks, everything is this. My whole life pretty much revolves in these four lanes. Why this apartment? So like this is a very, I think it's a, probably amongst the, the more tastefully, uh, tastefully <laughs> done apartments I've seen. Uh, thank you for that. Thank uh, you. Thank you. This role of our show. Uh, 
was the was the was your landlord a very stylish man and uh, so nothing nothing against the landlord but uh, when i walked into this apartment it was it was far beyond recognizable you know to say the least it was i had to do a lot and luckily i was working uh, with this architect rasneet anand uh, she really did a great job and she really understood my vision one thing the landlord was very adamant on that you know he didn't want any structural changes and if you see the roofs up you know so in bombay the usual trend is you know take the roofs and ceilings higher you know and in here he taking the roof down and he's made internal uh, you know uh, roofs and he had made me strictly sign a piece of paper which said no structural changes and i didn't intend to ever disobey him and it was also just covid so none of the labels could work so i should just come up here look around and ideate in college i was very close to doing architecture but instead i did engineering and business so i always had an eye for it and you know after spending a few weeks in this apartment i realized that you know what why don't i make this like a winter chalet and that's when the whole roof and everything this thing came along and if you notice i've added some rafters you know for that was a whole struggle convincing my parents because for vastu beams are like a complete red card how how much have you spent in doing these interiors so the one thing which i would like to say is that because this is an old building and the last time anything anyone had done anything to this house was above 25 30 years back you know and being on the top floor you know you have to take care of waterproofing and everything so and you want to do a good job so i had required to do civil work you know versus if i had moved into a brand new building i, I would not need to do so much civil so my civil alone uh, along with the painting and the furniture all of that combined i think i spent in the range of you know 20 to 30 uh, but again 20 to 30 lakhs lakhs yeah okay. yeah but see again i at the time felt like that investment was worth it because what the advantage you get with an old building is the grandeur of the layout you know like right now i have uh, i would say a drawing room the size of most two bedroom flats in general so rahul tell me uh, you stay alone yeah so has this apartment become like a bachelor adda for all parties <laughs> everybody comes to rahul's place so that was the number one argument put across by my parents and i have no shame to admit that it really has you know because the thing is most of my friends who are married or unmarried now have a place you know so sometimes it's more like they are enjoying my place more than i am <laughs> you know but let me show you the kitchen so this is the kitchen and uh, okay it's a lot bigger than i needed at the same time uh, fully equipped but not really used you and know that's a separate part there also yeah so this also has a separate area for the staff and a separate attached bathroom for the staff so he can not only stay there he can keep all his uh, storage there his clothing everything and uh, you know great accessibility for everyone okay. and this yeah. is a pretty big refrigerator you have as well yeah as in uh, when you host a lot you know <laughs> you need to keep a lot of cool things and we also have an ice machine in this fridge you can go cubed you can go crushed you know and uh, let me show you so it's a so this is this is part of the, this is a big part of the reason why your friends come <laughs> to the house i can see the monumental size the <laughs> ice cubes over here Well, let me show you the real monument here. Okay. This is the coolest juice you'll ever find. What's cool about it? This is the healthiest way to energize or relax with an all-natural format, no added sugar. This and this is your brand. This is my brand. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll try it out once my once my cough and cold allows me to have something. Come, let me show you the rest of the house. So then, as far as this. this juice brand was it a, was it a, a solution that you created because you had the problem of Dude, not having coffee absolutely spot on you know it was that age the fomo generation you want to make it to every meeting every birthday every party and uh, you know you, at night i wasn't getting any sleep in the day i was only drowsy you know and uh, i didn't want to have something sugary i have been a three time national champion in swimming so i've always been very health conscious you can come up easily but you also have a crash but because we don't have sugar and what about diabetics you know so i was trying to address a problem and uh, yeah so, so basically your your problem you decided to take it yourself <laughs> come let me show you the master so 
So this is the master bedroom. Please, okay. please come. So I wanted to. This is, this is the part where uh, Rahul spent most of his time as a bachelor, <laughs> relaxing, Sad. reading. So sadly, I'm. I'm not so much of a bedroom guy. I I love to you know sit outside with the natural light. I also have a little study, so I actually spend most of my times in those two areas. I, the bedroom is just I come here to pass out, you know. And again, there were a lot of vastu related things, but uh, it seems that in India you can just do a few pujas and stick a few items and that gets solved. So because they wanted me to place the bed in such a way that I couldn't really make more cupboards, you know. And and I was loving that if I lie down, I get this whole uh, you know the grandeur. per se and that's the bathroom yeah so both bedrooms have an attached toilet but uh, the funny part was that this being the bigger and the master bedroom it has a smaller toilet than the than the guest one so i was actually initially a little confused you know that should i move in there or should i move in here okay So that was the bathroom. Yeah. So overall, Vishal just kept it a very simple, quaint bedroom. Okay. You know, uh, where I've kept a lot of storage, obviously. You know, for uh, all your clothes, etc. Uh, but frankly, I don't have so much. You know. Uh, also, as you can see, uh, the TV. Our channel, yes. The channel is yours, Vishal. But uh, the TV brand happens to be mine. Okay. So we also uh, make TVs. It's a it's a brand called True Sense. Okay. And what's damn cool about this is my remote. It has a motion sensor, so you can practically just point and click, download all your favorite apps, move them around if you want, you know. And you can even connect your phone to this. It's just a joy to use, man. So, so basically, Rahul is a serial entrepreneur. You mainly have the juice, and this is the TV also. How many, how many businesses are you operating in? So we actually have one more as well. Please, please, after you. And uh, so we happen to make our own brand of tires. So Vishal, this is my study slash my guest room slash my favorite room in the house. Why is it your favorite? So it's cute, it's cozy. You know, I've made it with a lot of light, light wood. You know, so it really helps me think, and uh, you know, it gets your creative juices flowing. And uh, also, like the bedroom, uh, the bathroom here, it's a much bigger bathroom. So I can show you guys. So, do some of your friends say that your house feels a bit like a hotel with the way you have done <laughs> your apartment? So this was the one rule that I set for myself mm. when I got my house was that when I enter home every day after work, I need to feel like I've come to a holiday. You know that whether that feels like a hotel or how it feels. But it should make me feel like now nah, I'm on vacation. You know, now everything else should be set aside, and now I just want to chill and relax. Like even this area, for example. So this was actually in the old house, a big storage area. There were just two cupboards here, and uh, it's a very cool story that I happened to just fall in love with a 10-foot log of bark. You know, and I said that listen, can I just hire? So that guy sold me a 10 foot log of bark for like something like 10-15 thousand rupees, and this was only six feet cut in half. So I made two shelves out of it, okay. And then I was left with four feet, and I didn't want to just throw away a bark. So I made that table out. And this is all just the same one log of bark. Everyone told me go to IKEA, and I have a lot of stuff here from IKEA. I cannot deny it, but. They said, "Get a sofa, come bed." You know that you will have guests. People will want to stay over, and I said, "Hell no!" I was not in that mood at all. So what I did is, I actually bought two twin-size mattresses. You know, and if you sit, this is by far, you know, the comfiest sofa <laughs> you can buy for money. You know, and if someone ever wants to stay here, I just make this, and it becomes a king-size bed. You know, so it is a very simple solution, just wrapped up neatly. Do you, you have know? lots of friends who come and do a sleepover? Oh my god! You know, <laughs> I have more friends coming over than I want. You know, <laughs> so how much? How much are you paying for all this? You have. Uh, you said you spent twenty-five, thirty lakhs on just getting the interiors done. So th that was kind of the uh, argument, uh, you know, in my head that I could either look at a new building, pay a higher rent, and get some facilities like a gym, pool, etc., or you know, I could. be in the same building have all the family services intact 
at the same time pay a lower rent like the rent is 120000 for me but i knew that because i was i needed to spend a lot of money on it you know so uh, and everything as you see i have not uh, you know left any stone unturned i've used high quality materials you know we get a lot of rain so even all the wood used there's a lot of it everything is marine pine was there was there a thought that to if you're paying rent of 1 lakh 20000 and you spent close to 30 lakh rupees mm. in getting the house in you know, in the livable condition that you wanted yeah. that it it probably won't be worth it suppose you want to leave after 6 months suppose a landlord tells you to leave this is luckily you have a lock in period in your contract you know so uh, and how if, long is your lock in period so my lock in period was 2 years and my math was kind of based on 3 years you know and uh, there are some rumors that you know this building may go under redevelopment and because i am also happen to be an owner of a flat so if it happens to go in redevelopment tomorrow i'm ready because net net i'm gaining right so raul let's the plan then to uh, be on rent for long or uh, or buying a home is on the radar so vishal to be very frank with you i think it's uh, it's based on everyone's chapter at what point right now renting suits me you know because i wanted the flexibility of still being able to travel of still being able to go out you know i didn't want to get anchored down having said that i believe in the philosophy of why not and you know why are you just talking about one house let's buy 10 houses but one should be able to afford it and be able to do justice to it and not just buy but do it up nicely you know entertain nicely you know live nicely so i don't i and i obviously was not prepared for that today you know please please have a seat so so basically rahul will buy a home when he can buy it with adequate finances and without feeling too crunched you won't be in the situation where you buy an apartment and then you'll be struggling to make uh, struggling to make ends meet for other things vishal one thing is life one thing is lifestyle and one thing is livelihood and neither of these three best friends of yours should ever feel like one is eating into another you know you need to keep all the three happy on that note uh, rahul thank you for coming on the tenant uh, as i said at the start i think one of the more tastefully done apartments i've seen thank you thank and you. yeah lots of hospitality <laughs> so all the best going forward thank you sir thank you thanks for coming time for the report card this is a spacious two bedroom apartment i reckon close to 1200 uh, square feet at least building old so doesn't have any amenities but has the basics covered like parking uh location this is a green surrounding but has lot of commercial activity around it linking road very close by so you have a whole bunch of uh, commercial activity from cafe restaurant shopping everything all around you connectivity rail connectivity strong car and santa cruz uh, station both uh, close by to you uh, road transport easy access to the western express highway though it might face traffic issues so all in all If you're a person, a uh, young person, elderly person who has a uh, who has has a more than an average size budget, wants to be in a vibrant surrounding like this, uh, is okay with being in a project without amenities, this is a sort of location and project that can be considered. <laughs>